Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'll confuse the heck out of you for a minute while I sew together a story and then I'll go back to the top and read the whole thing for you. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everything is turning out the way that you want it to. We are going to uh, throw some cards for Taurus today. Let's do a mid-month-ish reading for Taurus. I would venture to say that this is probably, I just feel that this is probably about two, two weeks to a month um, is the scope of this. Um, I don't know why. Normally I don't put a date or a time or, or anything on my readings, but um, I feel like this one is like for the immediate future, the immediate future. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Let me get these cards good and shuffled up on camera for you so y'all don't think that there's any hanky-panky going on behind the scenes, okay? <laughs> All right, give me a chance to channel. We will find out what the message is, and uh, we'll read about it, okay? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. Mm. And the Collective of Taurus with me spirit and the Taurus wants to know what you know what do you know about the Taurus and what does the Taurus need to know and understand about themselves their lives and their futures spirit what's coming towards the Taurus what do they need to look out for what do they need to look forward to and most importantly how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that you want Taurus to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Their selves, their lives, and their futures. What? We'll get right there. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Can you see? All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, the three of wands. Very nice. Very nice. Some forward momentum, preparing, getting ready, four of cups in reverse, some kind of emotional apathy or rejection. The eight of swords tied up in your head, the seven of wands in reverse, the five of pentacles in reverse, the seven of pentacles in reverse, the three of cups, the queen of pentacles, the lovers, the ace of wands. Holy schmoly, you guys. Holy schmoly. Okay. All right. Let's do it. First card out is... I'll move the Six of Cups in reverse. So stuck in the past, unable to reconcile the past, the Two of Wands, the future, the Princess of Wands in reverse, some kind of frustration. All right, so the Six of Cups in reverse. A couple of things y'all need to know about me before we get started um, is that I have a propensity to be inappropriate I'll probably swear and I will most likely smoke my vape on camera. If any of that bothers you, now is your chance to leave before you get trapped in a rough neighborhood after dark, okay? All right, so the six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past, uh, unable to reconcile the past. Tell me about the six of cups in reverse, past life mission, maybe? The chariot, moving forward, going forward. Self-control, willpower, determination. All right. The Two of Wands, the future. Tell me about the future. The world in reverse. Because the future is blocked. Why is the future blocked? Ten of Swords. All right, 
Taurus. This is what's going on, okay? The Six of Cups in reverse. This is talking about being stuck in the past, okay? It's about things never changing. Same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, okay? It's the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. What is that? Well, it's kind of a prelude to what's going to shake down here, okay? So stuck in the past. And the chariot says, keep rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Do not go back to the past. Why? Okay? Well, the two of wands. Your future is a knocking. Two choices in a two, right? You either step forward or you don't. Those are your only two choices, right? So your future, um, pointing out of this reading, pointing towards the chariot, mind you, okay? Your future... Um, depends on you putting in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to get in and go away from the past, okay? The world in reverse, um, because this is a blockage to your future. What's a blockage to your future? This past, okay? It's going to make more sense in just a second. So this past is a blockage to your future, okay? Um, the world card wants to close a cycle out. They want you to step into the new phase of your life, or I should say the next phase of your life, right? But it, they, they can't because your free will is um, rooted in something, something else, okay? They cannot go against your free will. They are not going to intervene in your free will. It's just, they, they're just not going to, okay? So there's a blockage. I do want to point out that this blockage, there is the judgment card three, maybe even four times in this reading, okay? Judgment. Judgment is the card that comes before the world card. The world card is the very last card of all of the major arcana. This means when you get the world card that you have in some capacity, form or fashion, um, learned in some varying degree one of the lessons that precedes this world card in all of the life lessons of the major arcana, okay? They're all there, and they're in order for a reason, okay? So, the world card, there's a blockage. The universe cannot bring to you the next stepping stone of your life because your free will is focused somehow, some way on the past, okay? Ten of Swords, what are you focused on? Um, what's the blockage? Well, in your mind, being swords, being air, okay, in your mind, you are focusing on some kind of pain, betrayal, or endings, okay? And, and, and that would be from the past, okay? Ten of Swords, ten being completion, also talks about bringing that whole cycle of everything to a once and for all final culmination, okay? Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, the Three of Wands, foresight, preparation. So why do you need to come to terms with the past? Why do you need to get in the chariot and keep rolling? Well, because there is something coming down the road for you that you need to be prepared for, and closing this chapter out prepares you for that, okay? And then the hermit comes on top of this and says, let's sit down. Let's sit down and do some serious soul searching and introspection about this whole situation. We need to have a sit down talk because you're hung up on some kind of mentality from your past and your future is like right there. It's like right there. It's like right. It's like right. It's like right. It's like right there. Okay, but you can't step into it because for some reason you are fixated on the past at the start of this reading. Hermit says, let's sit down and do some deep soul searching, some deep contemplation and figure out what it is that you need to come to terms with. Okay. Princess of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of enthusiasm, a lack of desire. Okay. Lack of enthusiasm, lack of desire is what? It's an injustice to your life. Justice in reverse, okay? This is about a lack of accountability for your journey. What does that mean? Well, you being stuck on whatever mental this is from the past is an injustice to your life because you're not going to be able to see the future if you're focused on this past issue, okay? 
Justice in reverse is also um, validation that for whatever you are stuck in the past in this Ten of Swords right here, um, it, it wasn't injustice. You're right, okay? It, it was fucked up somehow, some way. It was an injustice, but it's not in your best interest to stay here. Justice in reverse, okay? What's happening? Well, we've got the Queen of Wands right here. This Queen of Wands is someone that is coming to you with a message, okay? Spoiler alert, next row, message, okay? Someone is coming to you with a message. I want to point out that she is in the upright, okay? So whomever is coming to you with this message is trying to appeal to your flesh, Okay, they're trying to appeal to your um, desire somehow, some way. Okay, Seven of Swords in reverse. They want you to break free from some kind of futile mentality. Okay, however, I want to point out that the Seven of Swords in reverse is also a card about stuck in mental challenges, about betrayal, deception, and deceit. So whoever is coming towards you, wanting to communicate, wanting some kind of forgiveness down here in just a second, okay, they're coming to you in an energy of peace. They're coming to you with words of peace, but the energy that they're coming to you in is that they got something stuck in their craw that they're that they that they haven't come to terms with. Okay, they haven't come to terms with it, but they're going to want some kind of forgiveness and understanding from you anyway, while they're holding some kind of grudge against you. The Empress, Taurus, you standing in your power, using your spidey senses understanding that your intuition is trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Understanding that what you think about comes about. And because you have been thinking about this past situation for so long, the obstacle in your way is you manifesting this subconsciously because it's ruminating in your subconscious mind. So you have brought this exercise into your life by continuously thinking about it. And because you've been continuously thinking about it, it's about to resurface in your life. And if it resurfaces, you go through the whole thing and you don't stop thinking about it, guess what? It's going to resurface and resurface and resurface. Not so much necessarily the same situation, but the same type of situation or person will continue to manifest into your life. Nevertheless, stuck in the past here, right? Manifestation, where your mind goes, your reality begins becomes the high priestess, your intuition is constantly trying to guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. The empress is the empress because she comes from those two lessons, one and two, the magician, the high priestess, then the empress. The empress is the connection between the divine and the physicality. She is the act of spirituality. Okay, so what they're saying with you as the Empress, which is the card of Taurus, also Libra, but we're talking Taurus right now, okay? Um, the Empress wants, being Major Arcana, wants you to know and recognize that you have the power and the authority to handle this particular situation in your life. Use your intuition and really, really consider what it is that you want to happen in this situation. Boss up. Queen of Swords, right? Mind in the game. Speaking your truth. Disseminating truth. I think it's disseminating truth more than speaking the truth because I don't really feel like Taurus has a lot to say here. So this person comes to you and they want forgiveness. Okay, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Queen of Swords. Keep your mind in the game. Strength. This is going to be your strength. Your strength is going to be using your intuition and your mind to guide you through this situation. Okay. What's the problem? Nine of Cups in reverse. Emotional displeasure. Emotional discontentment. 
is the nine of cups in reverse, right? Because in the upright, it's wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. In the reverse, it's about discontentment, okay? To the tower, um, some kind of implosion, all right? So ever since the shit went down between you and this person, I don't care if it's 50 years ago or yesterday, from the moment that the shit went down in this person, you with this person, you have just been ruminating and ruminating and ruminating on it, okay? Page of Cups in reverse. Um, and it has kind of handicapped you emotionally a little bit because whatever this was stung so bad that it has made you emotionally disassociate from, from life somehow to the Magician in reverse. And this is a blockage. This is a blockage for your future to manifest. It's a blockage. What's the blockage? Your mindset on whatever happened with this person, place, or thing in the past. Your mindset needs to change because it's an injustice in your life. There's a message coming to you. You need to be strong. You need to stand in your power. And you need to be sharp in your mind because you wallowing in this is a blockage to the manifestation of your future. Okay. All right. The message. Okay. The message. The Prince of Swords to the Eight of Wands. There is a message coming to you that is a message of change. Okay. This message is about changing a situation. The situation that you're stuck in from the past. It's a message about changing it. Ten of Wands in reverse says it is a message about it's a their offer to talk or heal this situation would release the oppression of the way that you feel in this situation. Okay, it'll make things better. Okay, it will. The Hierophant in reverse talks about cutting loose of ties, commitments, and obligations. It's, uh, it's, it's the, the, the type of relationship, whatever it is, person, place, or thing, the type of relationship that you want in this situation can't be. It just can't be. It just can't be. Because the other person isn't capable the other person is harboring some kind of betrayal, deception, or deceit, okay? They're, they're harboring what happened in the past between the two of you, this tower here, okay? They're still harboring it, but yet they are approaching you for forgiveness, understanding, acceptance because they need something from you, okay? Cut ties, commitments, obligations in this situation with the Hierophant in reverse. Death comes on top of this and says endings, absolute endings, 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 a death to what was the past and a beginning to what will be is your future. You can step through the portal if you handle this situation from a growth perspective and not from the emotional lack of a human perspective, okay? Yeah, you might be experiencing some emotional dissatisfaction because of this thing that went down between the two of you, but you'll get over that. You will. You'll get over it because nothing is ever going to change, and I'm fixing to tell you how. Death, an absolute ending. Judgment, conscious cognitive decision for absolution. It's about drawing a line in the sand and saying, no, this all stops here today, right now. Strength, Queen of Swords, the Empress, okay? Who is this message, I asked? And it is the Knight of Cups in reverse to the Six of Cups in reverse to the Three of Cups in reverse. This message is from someone in your past who is emotionally unavailable, emotionally fragmented. Um, they are stuck in the past for sure. Three of Cups in Reverse talks about third party situations. What this tells me is that just like before, 
this person will not be able to make you a priority. Okay, this person will not make you a priority. And that's, I think, what this tower was about back here, is that this person doesn't make you a priority and you just ended it somehow, some way, or perhaps they ended it, okay? So what this tells me is that this person is not going to change. This person is the same that they've always been and they will continue to be that way, right? Death says it's in your best interest to bring this to an end. Hierophant in reverse says it's in your best interest to cut loose of your ties, commitments, obligations, and belief systems about this situation um, because a message is coming to you with an offer to lift the burden of what happened between the two of you, okay? I asked, what is this about? Okay, seven of pentacles, a lack of success. This person is having some kind of lack of success in their life. And they think by reuniting with you that um, it's going to be better somehow. Five of pentacles, this person is maybe broke. This person is maybe coming back to you for some kind of financial security. Um, this person cannot handle being left out in the cold by you. Three of Swords in reverse, they want forgiveness, understanding, and acceptance. Five of Cups in reverse, they want to move on. Ace of Cups in reverse from the hurt feelings that are in this situation, okay? Center of your reading, Seven of Cups in reverse. What's the problem for Taurus, though? What's the problem in all of this? Well, Taurus is living in fantasy land. <laughs> fantasy land, a state of illusion. Taurus is not recognizing that this person, as we will see in a little bit, is egocentric, self-centered, and um, really cares nothing about their, nothing about anyone except for their own purposes. Okay, Taurus is living in fantasy land about this person. The moon. Taurus is struggling between that which they know to be true and that which they really wish wasn't true. What you know to be true is that this situation will always be like it always has been. What you know to be true is that this person has not, will not, and cannot change whatever it was that caused the tower between the two of you. Okay? The moon card is the proverbial struggle of every human, no matter the situation or circumstance. It's about the struggle between that which we know to be true and that which we don't want to accept as the truth. So you know in your guts that this is not ever going to change. But you keep giving opportunity after opportunity, or perhaps you want to give it just another opportunity. Okay? Page of Swords. Um, there needs to be some new seedlings of thoughts in your mind because this communication is not in your best interest. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The foundation is not there to build success. It's just not. To the Seven of Wands, your challenge in the situation, Princess of Cups in reverse, is misplaced empathy and compassion misplaced empathy and compassion page of pentacles uh, that's why you want uh, a new start uh, maybe you understand why this person has done what they've done or what the root of all of this is three of swords but it's only going to continue to bring you grief sorrow and pain perhaps just because we understand why someone does what they do does not make their choices and their behavior acceptable chariot in reverse opposition universal opposition the universe is not about this, Taurus, at all, in any way, whatsoever. They want you to step over this so you can continue on growing and learning and, and doing what it is that you need to do for yourself. Nine of Swords in reverse. Painful lesson. It was a painful lesson. The lovers in reverse. That was the tower. That's why it is no longer. To the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Four of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. That's It's the same Queen of Wands right here. Remember I said they're coming to you in like a fake energy. Because what they really are is pissed off. <laughs> what they really are is, is, is angry about the whole situation. And the root of everything is they are experiencing some kind of deep loss of success without you. And 
if they are egocentric and self-centered, they're probably freaking out because they can't be alone with themselves. An egocentric, self-centered person has this gaping hole in their chest where they cannot create a sense of self-worth. They, they just can't. They can't create a sense of self-worth, so they consume their sense of self-worth from anyone and everyone that they can. You were probably this person's primary source of, of ego fill, okay? They found some kind of fulfillment with you that they cannot get on their own, and they need you to consume that somehow, some way. Okay, your person, four of cups in reverse, is emotionally apathetic. They're emotionally unavailable. They don't care. They just are trying to make up with you to reestablish some kind of giving that you do, Taurus. Ace of cups in reverse to the three of swords in reverse. Again, right? Um, well, first of all, I want to say Ace of Cups in reverse, since we're talking about your person here, is about emotional immaturity. Okay? Ace of Cups in reverse is talking about um, hurt feelings, Three of Swords in reverse, forgiveness, understanding. Okay? We already covered that, but it's like a repeat. Judgment in reverse. Bad decisions. Deciding to not decide. Self-doubt. Queen of Wands in reverse again. Egocentric. Self-centered. Angry, Ace of Wands, new start, new beginning, new inspiration, new aspiration. So, Judgment in Reverse, being Major Arcana, says two things. It says this is a bad decision. It also says making a decision out of your self-doubt is a bad decision. Okay? The only reason someone would go back to the person that I'm talking about here is a lack of self-worth. Straight up. The only reason someone would go back to this person, maybe even yet again, is because of a lack of self-worth. Self-doubt. Doubting yourself. I can't do better. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think a dog is better than this whole thing right here. Right? This person, Queen of Wands in reverse, Ace of Wands, wants a new beginning. The Ten of Wands, it's only going to be a burden and a struggle for you, though. It will be a perpetuation and a continuation of the burden and struggle that you've always had with this person. Two of Swords. And you're at a big crossroads. You're at a huge crossroads. Why are you at a huge crossroads? Well, because, again, just like that Two of Wands up here, right? You only have two choices. You either step forward or you don't. You either make a decision or you don't. You either change or you don't. Those are your only two choices here, Taurus. Either you step back in to this whole thing, nine of cups in reverse, and continue to be emotionally dissatisfied with the situation, nine of pentacles, or you get your shit together and find your power. Get your shit together and find your power. Standing in your power, bringing all of this to a complete and total end so you can step into the next phase of your life. What's the problem is the devil. To the star in reverse. Judgment again. And the hangman. This devil right here represents your self-doubt of judgment in reverse, which is here twice, by the way. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What is it? Your self-doubt. Why? Well, because your self-doubt keeps you making bad decision after bad decision after bad decision, particularly in this situation, okay? You are, you are, you, you, this person wanting another chance with you feeds your emotional pleasure zone because you know that this person needs what you have and that's what keeps them coming back around and back around and back around. That's what this breaks down to and that's the devil for you. Okay? That's the devil for you. Your shadow self. Your dark side. Okay? What, what else? Well, the king of pentacles in reverse. That dark side, that self-doubt, king of pentacles in reverse, this person cannot be your king of pentacles. They just can't. They're not sewn from the threads that a king of pentacles is sewn from. The king and queen of pentacles, in case y'all don't know this, is the, the ultimate domestic partnership of the tarot. 
okay? They're both successful. They're both secure. They both want the same things in life, and they're willing to work hard with each other and for each other to get what it is that they have agreed that they want their life to be. This person, male, female, love relationship, family, career, boss, job, Okay, whatever this is for you, it's all individual. This is a general reading. If these were your cards, man, we could narrow all this shit down like to the T. But it's, I don't know who this is for. So, so this person cannot be your king of pentacles. They are incapable of being your king of pentacles by the very fibers that they're sewn from. They are incapable of being what it is that you need them to be in this particular situation. That's why all of this is saying, go justice, be accountable for your journey. Stop perpetrating an injustice in your life by wasting your time on this situation. By being attached to some kind of lack of self-worth. Eight of Cups and walk the fuck away. Walk away. Just walk away from this whole thing. There's better for you. Nine of Wands, fight the good fight. Resilience, persistence, fight the good fight. Emperor in reverse. Again, egocentric, self-centered. As on a deeper level for you being major arcana, it's about you being out of control of yourself. It's about you not standing in your power and being completely and totally out of control of yourself. It's an energy of domineering and controlling and what it, you're doing is trying to control your human understanding of the way that your life should go without giving any kind of, 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 of time without giving any kind of time to the soul version of your life. That's why they want you to sit down in, the, in that hermit energy. Okay? On the superficial, this emperor in reverse is a reiteration that your person is out of control of themselves, egocentric and self-centered. To the tower, yet again. Implosion. This relationship, this situation, this job, if you get back into it again, you will get exactly what you've already gotten from it. You will. To have so, why? Why will you? Because the universe wants nothing to do with it. They don't. It's like your kids, right? You're not going to help your kids do something because they want it with all of their might. But you know, you know it's detrimental to their future. You're not going to participate in that. I mean, if you're like a thinking normal person, right? You're not going to participate in that. Same thing with the universe. They're like, oh, hell no. Mm-mm, no, -mm, we ain't helping to get in this together. Mm-mm, not happening. It's not in your best and highest good. And if your free will insists on creating it in your life, then you are on your own. Tower. Two of swords in reverse. Uh, you're not seeing how serious this whole situation is right here. Six of swords, leave it behind. The fool in reverse, you're foolish if you engage in it. The hermit in reverse, withdraw your energy and disconnect from it. And stop being foolish and withdrawn from your spiritual path. Prince of Wands, some inspired action towards this situation. Six of Wands will not be successful. The world in reverse, just like we started out with. This is a blockage to your future. It's a blockage. Judgment is the card that comes before the world card. That's why it's here three times. You have to make an absolute decision to stop dealing with this person, place, or thing and carry on into your future. But you and only you have the power to flip this world card in the upright. Critical self-analysis will move you forward in your life. Chariot, forward, move forward. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what needs to be done. To get to where you need to go because it ain't here, Taurus. Strength in reverse. It's a weakness. Taurus, Taurus don't like to be weak. It's a weakness, Taurus. Your desire to give this another shot 
is a weakness. What's the weakness? Your self-doubt. What's the self-doubt rooted in? An attachment that is a restriction to your growth and toxic to your life, which attracts toxic people to the wheel of fortune. We want to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. We want to point you in the right direction. We want to show you what is best for you, but you have to participate. We will not and cannot do it without you. You have to participate. The wheel of fortune begins to turn for you, Taurus, the second you see this for what it truly is and shut it down. Uh-huh. Yep. 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 Look, because this is the opposing part of Taurus, right? New, new chance, new opportunity. The lovers. Ooh, I can, we can have this. We can start again. It was when it was good. It was great. We can have this. We can start again. Queen of Pentacles. I can hold title in this person's life. The Three of Cups. Rejoicing. Celebrating. A new start. He or she or they or it sees the, the, the error of their ways. And they are going to change. They're going to change. They want to get together. It's going to be so much better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But remember, you can't be the Queen of Pentacles to this person because this person can't be a King of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you always done, you're going to get what you always got. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Come out of your own personal insecurity. Come out of your place of self-doubt. Seven of Wands in reverse because this is what keeps your guard down. Eight of Swords all tied up in your head. Can't see the forest through the trees. Four of Cups in reverse that your person is emotionally apathetic and you will not ever get what it is that you want this relationship to be. You can try if you want to. Free will. You can try if you want to. Try, try, try as you may, Taurus. But it will end in a tower moment. You can write that down. I promise you. Write the time and the day down. I'm telling you that this relationship will be tower after tower after tower because your person will never, ever, ever make you a priority in their life. Amen. Three of Wands. Prepare for your future. Look past this. Look on. See what's coming down the road. There's so much better coming down the road, Taurus. Mm-hmm. Prepare. Get ready. Come to terms with yourself and push forward because there is a new cycle. We've got the world card here twice. We have the chariot twice. We have the judgment card three, maybe even four times. We have justice here two, maybe even three times. You're blocking your future, Taurus. Come to terms with all this. Shut it down and carry on with your bad self. Namaste. Namaste.